you for your presentation. これでどうですか大丈夫ですかはい。よろしくお願いします。はい、okay, so thank you for joining us today. My name is Ajo Jimmy. I'm from Kyushu University, Faculty of Dental Science. I'm the Vice Dean of the International Affairs Division of Faculty of Dental Science and also Professor of Oral Health and Brain Health and Total Health Research Center. I will be, be, <coughs> I will be giving a short presentation about our School of Dentistry and Graduate School of Dental Science. So Kyushu University is located in Fukuoka, which, part, which, part, which is part of the Kyushu Island. Kyushu Island is the south of the Japan. We are quite far away from Tokyo. While there are no direct flights from Turkey to Fukuoka, there are flights from the Istanbul to Tokyo, Narita. The flight from Istanbul to Tokyo, Narita airport is about 12 hours. And the flight from the Narita Tokyo Narita Airport to the Fukuoka, about two and three hours. Let me introduce the excellence of Fukuoka city. There are lots of delicious food in Fukuoka. Some of the more popular food, foods are mizutake and udon. Mizutake is kind of a chicken soup with vegetable. You can also enjoy the cuisine of Fukuoka at three size stores known as yatai which can be found in the main area of Fukuoka known as Tenjin and Nakasu. There are a lot of halal food friendly restaurants in Fukuoka. You can find halal restaurants using this website. And Fukuoka is also well known for its strawberries known as Amao, which means king of sweetness. There are lots of exciting festivals in Fukuoka like Hakata Dantak and Gion Yamakasa. You can take part in these festivals when you are in Fukuoka. And now let me tell more, you more about the Kyushu University. Kyushu University is one of the biggest national universities in Japan. We have 30 undergraduate schools and 18 graduate schools with total over 18,000 students. Of 12,000 uh, undergraduate students and 7,000 graduate students. We have 316 students in our School of Dentistry and uh, 153 students in our Graduate School of Dental Science. Please find out more about Kyushu University by accessing our homepage and the Facebook page. And you can also watch your, uh, our, well, our YouTube video. Kyushu University has five campuses and we are located in hospital campus. We are affiliated to Kyushu University Hospital. Our campus is, very, is located very conveniently near the subway station. Fukuoka Airport is located in the city center and it takes only about 30 minutes to get from the airport to our campus. As you can see in this slide, the cost of living in Fukuoka is a lot of com uh, lower compared to the biggest city, bigger city like Tokyo or Osaka. Student needs approximately 100 to 120,000 yen for life expen expense for, per for months. This is amount 12 to 14,000 Turkish lira. International students may stay at the university's dormitory for half a year. After half a year, they have to rent an apartment outside on their own. There are many apartments you can rent that is close to the university, but please note that rent in Japan is not cheap. Oh, you can go from the 50 to 70,000 yen per month. This is about uh, 6,000 and 8,000. Turkish leader. There are many scholarships that international students can apply to when you, uh, when you enter our school. This is a page from the, our university's website that shows the scholarship that students can apply to. Unfortunately, most scholarships are only available for students who are already enrolled in our university. 
We offer the Japanese government scholarship, also known as MEXT scholarship, to international students. We are looking for a few students from Middle East to join us under this scholarship in October 2023. Students must have excellent academic results to qualify. More information, sorry, more information about this scholarship will be uploaded on our homepage in December. We offer various kinds of students support for international students. The, um, the supporter system is a system where we assign current student to international student to help them adjust to their lives in Japan. In addition, <clears throat> our international office, which is made up for the group of the professor and administ administrative st uh, staff, helps international students too. <laughs> student in our PhD program can join the 10 weeks Japanese class offered by Kyushu University for free. So this slide shows the cost of necessary for applying to our university. Students can also apply for tuition and enrollment waiver if they meet the necessary requirements. This graph shows that nationality of the inter uh, international student in our graduate school. We have a lot of international students from Middle East and we hope to attract more students from Middle East to study with us. Now, let me talk about history of the graduate school. The graduate school of dental science was established in 1974 and the faculty of dental science in 2000. In, since 2000, we have been working to enhance education, research, and uh, dental care, and the philosophy of the overall well-being through oral health. In 2016, we have uh, we established that oral health, brain health, total health. We also called the OBT Research Center, and I became two chairman in 2017. And furthermore, we have just established a new dental craniofacial development and the regeneration. We also called the DDR Research Center in January this year. Next, I will share with you um, a little bit more about the program we offer. We offer a four years PhD program student who would like to join our graduate school. We will have a master program next April. Students need to meet the admission requirements to apply our PhD program. If the student do not meet the requirements, they can also choose to join us as a research student first. In general, students do mainly research at our graduate school. Also, if you would like to visit the Kyushu University Hospital to watch clinical practice, you have to make a necessary application through your professor. In addition, if you are planning to practice dentistry in Japan after your studies, please note that you need to pass the Japanese dentist, uh, dentist National Examination. It is not easy to pass this examination and there are strict language requirements for foreigners. There are two periods enrollment each year. Students can choose enroll either in April or October. Students who are interested to join our graduate school should make sure they check the application guideline carefully for the application deadlines and necessary documents. The application guideline can be downloaded from the our homepage. To apply our graduate school, you would first have to find a professor who can accept you in their laboratory. Please access the admission system on our homepage to get in contact with the professor. You need to upload the necessary documents onto this system. If contact with, permit, uh, with the professor is permitted, Please discuss with the professor on your research topics and when you should enroll. If your professor gives provisional consent, you may then apply to our PhD program. Please make sure you apply within the specified deadlines. 
Let me briefly introduce some of the research we do. In recent years, it has been reported that oral health is linked to brain and total health, such as the relationship between the tooth loss and dementia, and the prevention of aspiration pneumonia by oral care. The OBT Research Center comprehensively studies with oral function, brain function, and the total health. This slide shows the ongoing project at the OBT Research Center. I don't mention about each project today. Nine PIs, including me, belong to the OBT Research Center, and all PIs are actively researching. At the DDR, at the DDR Research Center, basic research on tooth and periodontal tissue regeneration, development, uh, new dental materials, tissue regen regeneration, and cell therapy using the stem cells. And the clinical research are conducted at the collaboration with Faculty of, Me Faculty of Medical Science and the Center of the Clinical Translation Research and companies. In the future, we will concentrate the research conducted at Faculty of Dental Science into two, these two research centers and aim to realize overall well being through oral health. Uh, please refer to our homepage for details, information about application, eligibility, and the deadlines. If you have any questions, please contact us this email address. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We look forward to meeting you at Kyushu University. Thank you very much. Okay, so now I would like to invite one of our international students from the Syria to share his experience at the Kyushu University with you. And Mr. Fuad uh, Sakariel is a third year student at graduate, our graduate school of dental science. Fuad san, dozo, yoshiko onegaishimasu, please. Uh, hello, Herkese Merhaba. Uh, I am uh, Fuad Zakaria from Syria. Uh, graduate, uh, uh, I'm a student in Graduate School of Dental Science in Kyushu University. Uh, I'll introduce my research life in Kyushu University. First of all, self-introduction. Uh, my last university attended was uh, Damascus University. I graduated in 2016, and uh, I withdrew from, uh, uh, from Master of Endodontology in Damascus University and uh, when I get the mixed scholarship. I get the mixed scholarship through University Recommendation Way in uh, 2019. And from October 2019 until March 2020, I attended in Kyushu University intensive Japanese course for six months while I was like a research student in Kyushu University. After April uh, 2020 until now, I am PhD student at Kyushu University. My life in Japan as a researcher, I will introduce it from three aspects, uh, intensive Japanese course in Kyushu University, living in Fukuoka and research life at graduate school. Intensive Japanese course in Kyushu University uh, divided into eight levels. Uh, it was located in Ito campus, uh, not in hospital campus. Uh, your registration depends on your estimated available time according to a professor uh, as uh, I was mixed scholarship through university recommendation. The course provides a great opportunity to meet international friends and connect with Japanese teachers freely and there are also uh, another kind of courses for Japanese uh, language re learning called GTC courses. They are available for all students, not uh, mixed scholarship or dedicated uh, uh, students for, uh, for Japanese uh, language learning. These courses are 90-minute uh, classes, twice a week, 10 weeks per semester. Intensive Japanese course includes uh, field trips, uh, to Aso Mountain in Kumamoto and uh, to some uh, Japanese gardens in also in Kumamoto and uh, for, uh, tea ceremonies, attending tea ceremonies. And also at the end of the course, we, uh, uh, we have uh, enjoy, uh, enjoyable um, party in um, uh, Aya Sensei's house. It was very, very enjoyable, this course. For living in Fukuoka, I think Fukuoka is the one of the most 
best, uh, the best uh, cities to live in uh, in Japan because it was ranked one of the most livable cities in the world for several years in a row. It, uh, it is the fourth largest urban area in Japan, but with near beautiful countryside. So you can enjoy the urban, uh, urban life and you can enjoy the most of country life like uh, rivers, uh, mountains and forests. It is known for its food and shopping. And for Muslims, it's easy to find halal food in, uh, in Fukuoka since there are Muslim guides published from Fukuoka City Hall. Uh, I'm a very outgoing person, so I enjoyed my life uh, in Fukuoka. Uh, I, I know almost all of the attractions in Fukuoka City and it is very, very enjoyable all the, all the year, uh, in autumn, in spring, summer and winter. And uh, there are also some trips uh, through Kufsa, uh, uh, Kufsa organization and Kumsa organization. It was very, very enjoyable. My research life at graduate school. First, I joined the periodontology department headed by Professor Fosanori Nishimura in the picture. And for more experience, I transferred to molecular biology and anatomy laboratory headed by Professor Takayoshi Yamaza. Uh, uh, as I mentioned before, I, enjoy, I joined the Graduate School of Dental Science uh, for six months as a research student, and after that and, uh, I joined as a PhD student since April 2020. Our research interest in molecular biology and anatomy laboratory includes interactions between osteoplasts and osteoclasts, stem cells differentiation process and abilities, the rules and components of extracellular vesicles derived from dental stem cells, and using of dental stem cells in human tissue regeneration. This is a new picture of our staff in laboratory. My research life, my theme is about pathological analysis of genetic disorders using patient-derived dental pulp stem cells. Uh, uh, for me, as a student, I attend weekly lab meetings, discussions, and do daily experiments and present my progress periodically to my professor and uh, other professors in my lab. Uh, there are no clinics, as uh, professors uh, mentioned before, uh, but I assure you there are no time for clinics because you have to focus in, on your research. We are waiting for you in Kyushu University and uh, enjoyable life will, waiting, will wait for you in Fukuoka. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fuato-san, uh, for your valuable presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, evet, sorularınız var mı arkadaşlar? Ee, yani oradaki öğrenci arkadaşa da sorabilirsiniz. Bizzat orada yaşayan birisine veya kayıtlarla ilgili, burslarla ilgili. Var mı merak ettiğiniz bir şeyler? Ben şöyle geçeyim. Ters dönüyorum. <gülüyor> ha, buyurun. Ah, pardon, elinizi kaldırdınız sanırım. Özür dilerim. Bu, e, bir saniye şunu kapatayım. Hello. Hi. We have a question. Uh, to be able to work in clinics in Japan, what are the requirements? Do we need to take an education uh, of dentistry in Japan or uh, only an examination is required to be able to treat patients in Japan? working clinics. Oh, okay, so as I told you that it, uh, you have to take uh, pass the uh, national examination and also the Japanese um, language test. So I think that, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> Yani yıl olarak, evet, yıl olarak okumaya gerek yok çocuklar. Yani bakıyorum, tamam. burada, şurada bir 
M1 var ya, M1, o M1'den M4'e kadar giden bir şey, sınav. M1, en yükseği, ondan sonra N3'ü, N2'si, M4'ü var. Ya bu sınavlardan en yükseği M1'i alacaksınız. Ondan sonra da bir sınava daha girip orada da bilimsel geçeceksiniz. Yani yoksa öyle iki sene ben işte gideyim de üçü, beşi orada okuyayım yok. Dördü, beşi orada okuyayım yok. Yani bu sınavları geçerseniz lisansı alabiliyorsunuz. Eskiden böyle değildi. Bir İngilizce sınavdan geçiyordunuz. Sadece bilimsel bir sınavdı. Lisansınızı alıyordunuz. Doktora programını bitirdikten sonra böyle bir lisans almanız kolay. Ama doktora programı içerisinde bu lisans almanız için mutlaka Türkiye'den Japonca bilerek gitmeniz lazım. Başka sorunuz var mı istersen? What are the requirements for scholarship? You mean the mixed scholarship? No, mixed değil. Sormayın. Mixini söyleriz zaten. Mixi sor. Başka başka bir soru. For other for other scholarships like JMENA project. Okay, so it depends on that. Um, the private the, um, scholarship, they need something that the research plan. If the research plan is acceptable, they, you can get the uh, scholarship. But in the competition is very high because the, most, some of them is just only the dental fees. That other thing is that some kind of other life science field, it very, very competition is very high. So it is very difficult, I think. Ee, çok zormuş bu bulutları almak ve e, bir research projesi, research fundı oluşturmanız gerek, research e, fonu oluşturmanız gerekiyormuş, araştırma fonu oldukça zormuş. Uh, can, for about the dormitory situations, uh, for the first six months, uh, students can stay in university dormitories, and after that, uh, do they need to uh, go to rents or for other dormitories? How does that stay procedure uh, So yes, uh, students can stay in the university's dormitory for six months. Uh, they may extend the stay at the dormitory if there is a uh, space, but uh, usually we do not guarantee that the um, the stay will be extended beyond six months. So uh, most students will find uh, an apartment outside of the university on their own after six months. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for the dormitories, are all the beds uh, on the floor for Kyushu University or? <laughs> on the tatami? Uh, no, actually, uh, we have a new uh, dormitory that is built um, in on our hospital campus. Uh, it's it's we had the building before, but we just uh, renewed the renovated the building, so it's new right now. Um, it's a bed, so it's not the students do not sleep on the tatami floors, and it's a single room, so they don't have to share the room with other people. Çok rahat. Yataktan daha rahat yani. Yer yatağı ama alttaki tatami. Uh, what, uh, why uh, do you prefer uh, Jaymena students like from uh, North East and Middle East and North Africa? Why do you prefer students from that countries, those countries? Is there a special reason? 
So actually, the, the Kyushu University is a very, you know, try to um, get from the uh, Middle East student. So that's why, so we also uh, follow that the university's direction, actually, yeah. You are still in Uh, hello, Mr. Zakaria. Uh, when we go to Japan without knowing any Japanese, uh, are we going to face any problems? Also, the, if the, uh, does the government provide the Japanese course when you go there? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, for me, I didn't learn Japanese before I, I get to Japan. So uh, for, if you get your intensive Japanese course, it will be great opportunity to, to learn and your life will get easier. But if you don't know any Japanese, I, and, and I have many friends, uh, they don't know any, any, uh, any bit of the Japanese language and they can li uh, live easily in Fukuoka. Also, uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, voluntary classes and a lot of uh, Japanese language uh, schools in Fukuoka city and other cities of Japan that provides really, really good uh, classes for learning Japanese language. Uh, in six months, what level of Japanese did you uh, get? Uh, right now, I'm applying for maybe N3 of Japanese language proficiency test. Uh, yeah, but uh, but I think after six months, you have to, to continue study, not, not just six months, but six months you can live easily. Yani hayatınızı idame ettirebilirsiniz. Alışverişlerinizi efendime söyleyeyim e, o, o bölgede işte arkadaşlarınızla Japonca konuşmayı yapabilirsiniz. Ama e, hani Japonca bilimsel makale okumak ya da Japonca bilimsel e, konuşma yazışma yapmanız mümkün değil 6 ayda. Artı zaten normalde 50 bine yakın bir kanji var değil mi yanlış bilmiyorsam 40 küsur binin üstünde. Yani Japonlarda liseyi bitiren, onu özellikle sormuştum ben, liseyi bitiren sıradan bir Japon'un bildiği kanji zaten 7 bin civarında. Yani 40'ın üst, 40 binin üstündeki şeyin 7 bin tanesini bilirlerse onlar liseyi bitirmiş oluyorlar. Ee, ama yani e, tabii harfler farklı, sistem farklı. 3 ayrı alfabe var. E, hiragana, katagana ve kanji. Hiragana ve katagana kolay ama kanji gerçekten e, yani sıradan Japon'un da en fazla 5-6 bin tane bildiği ama totalde 40 küsür bin tane kanjinin olduğunu biliyorum ben yani. Şunlar yani. 3 ay. Hiragana, katagana, kanji. Bu da hiragana ve katagana ile şimdi bir çok rahatlıkla yazar, yazarak okuyabilirsiniz. Şurada kırmızı olanlar hiragana alfabesi. Mavi olanlar da yabancı kelimeleri yazdıkları katakana alfabesi. Bunları dediğim gibi iki anlıda söylüyor olmazsanız. Bunları öğrendiğimizde bir insan makalede bir insan makalelerde çoğunlukla. Bunları kesin bir arada kullanılıyor bu arada. Yanlış anlaşılıyor. Evet tabii. İnsan makalelerde işte bu kanjiler başka yerde o diğer alfabe şeklinde değil. Hepsi birbirinin halinde kullanılır. Ne kadar 
kadar çok kancı bilirsiniz, o kadar çok şey okuyabiliriz anlamına gelir. Gazete, kitap, her şey okuyabiliriz. Kelime adresi aslında. Evet, aynen. Evet, söyle söyle. Evet, aynen öyle. Evet. Kelime adresi. Siz yazı yazmayı öğreniyorsunuz. Yani. Funda Hocam senin soruna da ben cevap vereyim. Oradaki hoca cevap veremedi senin soruna. Şimdi Japonya'da bana göre en büyük problem Japonya'nın çevresindeki Asya ülkeleri. Asya ülkelerinden inanılmaz derecede. Yani şöyle söyleyeyim. Ben bir Türkken bir yurtta. O yurtta 50 tane Çinli, Tayvanlı ya da işte Koreli bilmem ne vardı. Dolayısıyla böyle biraz daha... Farklı kültürlere açılıp farklı kültürlerle aynen öyle, aynen öyle. Yani biraz tabii tabii. Ya yani ben Osaka'da mesela 1989'da yolda yürürken benim kaldığım e, o bölgede e, gayicin olarak bir tek ben vardı. Yani farklı surat bir tek ben. Yani hepsi Japon ya da Çinli ya da işte Koreli falan. Evet. evet. Uh, do you have short term research programs other than PhD uh, or doctoral programs? And uh, can we apply for scholarship for those programs? Mm -hmm. So actually, we don't have in the Kyushu University. We don't have so just we have this uh, some kind of that um, Kyushu University friendship scholarship. It's uh, just only that uh, member of the uh, partner school university. Just only that case is that the flight ex, uh, Right and uh, some kind of life expenses we support the Kishi Masi support, but just only the partner schools only. Partner okullarla For the Osaka University, do you have a, a short research program? You are muted. Sorry, unfortunately, we don't have the system. Kingdom. Uh, okay. Mr. Oki? Okay. Yes, yes. For other universities other than Kyushu and Osaka University, are there uh, opportunities for the uh, short term research projects in Japan, research students for, for, for a short term? Can we apply for short term research? Yeah. Do you mean for the study of dental science or more generally? Yes, for dental sciences. For dental science, if it's only for dental science, I think it's a bit difficult to find. Yeah, if you if you are interested in like Japanese language or more general like Japan society or such kind of things, we can find many. But uh, for dental science, uh, at least currently, I don't know. Maybe I will check it. But uh, yeah. uh, Okullar arası agreement olduğunda, yani üniversite arası anlaşma olduğunda bu dediğiniz var. Hı hı. Şimdi sen onu sor, hani ben söylememiş oldum. Tamam. Yani sen atıyorum Kent Üniversitesi ile Osaka Üniversitesi'nin arasında bir anlaşma varsa, hı hı. Kent Üniversitesi'nin bir hocası altı aydın oraya gidebilir. O, o tip bir hı hı. şeyler, değişimler var. Evet. Ama öbür türlü yok. Ee... Ama bu var, ben sen, evet. If there is an agreement between schools, like uh, an, a university from Turkey and uh, from Japan, uh, is it possible for short-term research exchanges? Or yeah, generally speaking, if we if we can have such kind of agreement, it's not impossible. But uh, to get that kind of agreement, it may take time. But uh, yeah, it's a profitable endeavor to do, and actually. It's not with Turkey, but with Egypt, 
uh, we have several kind of, I mean, several Japanese university who have some kind of special agreement uh, with Egyptian um, hospitals or Egyptian uh, uh, oh. faculty of medicine. And they send some student each year, like 10 or five to uh, some Japanese public university to do short-term research projects. So that kind of project could be possible for, for between Japan and Turkey too. <laughs> Üniversitelerle anlaşma olduğunda şimdi Mısır'la böyle bir şey yapmışlar ve şu an araştırma öğrencisi alıp e, çalışmaları mümkün oluyor. Biz sadece şunu da söyleyeyim. Mesela ben Ankara Üniversitesi'nden oraya öğrenci gönderdim. Öğrenci bile. Beşinci sınıf öğrencimiz orada gidip staj yaptı. Evet bizim anlaşmamız var. 1991 4'ten beri. Ya bak gerek yok bence. Şey. Başka sorun var mı? 